in this building in City Hall, uh, please come over and enjoy the amazing performances of our students um, and the work that they have created with amazing teachers in the arts. And just to remind you, our district really supports uh, assuring that the arts are core. They're not cherry on the cake. So here is another amazing supporter for our work. And uh, Susan Stoddard, will I will introduce you. <laughs> okay, president of the Board of Supervisors, David Chu. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone today? Do you like the sun? <laughs> How about this? Do you like the arts? Do you like music? Are you all going to be amazing artists and musicians and performers someday? I want to thank all of you for coming out to this announcement about the San Francisco Unified School District Art Festival Day that is going to be happening. Actually, the festival that's happening from March 2nd to March the 10th. This is so important for our city. And I want to tell the boys and girls who are here, we know that our arts are what allow us to express ourselves, to tell the world who we are, to describe the world as it is, and to talk about the world as it should be. And I'm so excited that all of you are here because you are our next generation of San Franciscans to lead us, to paint for us, to dance for us, and to sing for us. Although hopefully not in a hot sun like today, right? I also uh, am here on behalf of my colleagues to let you know that the Board of Supervisors, we are so supportive of what the school district is doing, what our parents are doing, what our arts educators are doing, what our artists are doing together to move forward this great agenda. I want to take a moment and recognize my colleague, Supervisor Eric Marr. Eric, can you raise your hand and say hello? Eric played the trumpet when he was growing up. And in part because of that, his 12-year-old daughter also plays the trumpet. And Eric served on our city's school board working to make sure that arts education are properly funded. I'm very, fact, I'm very happy about the fact that this arts festival is going to be taking place in the heart of the Civic Center. And the reason why that's exciting is because this is in the middle of what we are hoping will be a future arts education hub at 130 Van Ness Avenue. We have SF Jazz, we have the Symphony, the Opera, the Ballet, the Conservatory of Music, the San Francisco Arts Commission, all within a few blocks of each other. And I know there is a vision that many of us share that involves the Ruth Asawa School of the Arts, that involves bringing not just all of these world-class performers and teachers, but again, bringing all of you, students who are here, the next generation of our world-famous artists together to make sure that we're doing it right. And I want to uh, thank the folks that are part of this vision and look forward to the work that we will be doing together with all of our arts educators, I know with our superintendent, uh, with our mayor and his education advisor as well. And let me just close by saying I want to thank the creativity of our city's youngest residents, all of you, for what you're doing together. And again, also I want to thank our parents and teachers. Congratulations. Look forward to the festival. Supervisor, an amazing, amazing uh, friend and supporter of this work. And thank you, Superintendent Carranza. <laughs> Um, and next is our uh, the mayor's education advisor and a commissioner uh, of uh, the uh, Board of Education for the San Francisco Unified School District, a, a strong supporter of the arts and the arts education master plan, Hydra Mendoza. Good afternoon, everyone. San Francisco Arts Festival, this is the heart of it, and this is why we do it. For each and every one of these students that are sitting in front of us, as well as the other 56,000 kids in our, in our school district. While budget cuts continue across the state, we have prioritized arts in our school district. And the mayor has been extremely supportive of all of the things that we're doing. And this is our 26th year that the Visual and Performing Arts Department has produced this citywide festival highlighting the talents and creativity of not only our students in the SFUSD but across the city. 
This is an opportunity for us to actually recognize the hard work and beauty that our kids, our talented kids, put into the work that they do. And I'm so excited to be here to help host the Arts Festival on behalf of the school district and the mayor's office and all of the city partners that we have, not only with our supervisors, but with the Arts Commission, the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. And we're really thrilled to have the Asian Art Museum on board and to be hosting us this year. It's so exciting. The festival will continue to showcase the work of our kids and we hope that every single one of you can come out this year to support their efforts. This is a week-long opportunity to come out, see what they do, see performances, compare and contrast, bring out your own inspiration of what creativity means to you and how it ties to public education and how it ties to the to academic success of our kids. So I'm delighted to be out here on behalf of Mayor Lee. He's really excited. We're going to get him over there to make sure that he gets an opportunity to see all the work of, of the kids. And congratulations on 26 years of the Arts Festival for San Francisco Unified. This is exactly what our Arts Education Master Plan was designed to do. And we're going to make sure that it keeps going. We've got a renewal coming up to make sure that these funds stay in place. And we're going to be looking to all of you to help us ensure that this stays and goes and continues year after year after year. Because this is part of standard education for all of our kids in San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Hydra Mendoza. And now, we have the opportunity to enjoy one more performance. I would love to introduce another bright light in our school's teacher, Peter Shroko. Thank you, Peter, for the amazing work you do every day in our schools with the students from Bessie Carmichael, third and fifth grade Bessie Carmichael students. Bravo. Thank you. 
All right, give it up one more time for the Bessie Carmichael Chorus under the direction of Peter Shroka. We couldn't ask for a more beautiful day out here today for our Media Day event. My name is, again, my name is John Calloway. I'm the uh, uh, Program Administrator for Visual and Performing Arts Department of the San Francisco Unified School District. And this is all about our SFUSD Arts Festival, which takes, takes place starting next Saturday, right across the street, across the park at the Asian Arts Museum. So I'd like to, uh, I have the honor of announcing that the closing of this event today will feature the Philip and Salibert Marching Band one more time under the direction of Manuel Young. Performing Arts Department of the San Francisco Unified School District. Thank you very much, and this concludes our ceremony. Thank you.